Well, if business is bad, you can't pay your bills, right? And if you're an airplane or an airline or a cargo company, that means you might be behind on your aircraft loan payments. And yes, the repo man can come after you for an airplane too. One man has made a business out of going and getting airliners and other large jets when the buyers fall behind. AOP Live's Paul Harrop caught up with the jet repo man. We uh, started out repoing airplanes back in 1979. And from that, we kind of grew into a full service consulting operation. Uh, we have 106 people around the world. Based in Gary, Indiana, Nick Popovich is a globetrotter. He's been all over the world going to get airplanes buyers have defaulted on. He says it's not easy. The first challenge is figure out where the airplane's going to be. Uh, once you get that, then you've got to figure out all the logistics of fuel, your ferry permit if you need one, uh, crew, fuel stops, customs. Uh, now TSA, of course, gets involved. Um, then, then they actually, how are you going to get to the airplane? How are you going to get around security? Nick usually uses one of his company jets, flies right up to the ramp, and boom, he's gone. And so is the repossessed airplane. Nick's work was featured on season one of Airplane Repo, a cable reality show. He's built a reputation as the go-to guy for getting the dirty work done as cleanly as possible. Building it wasn't that hard. It was something that I loved doing. Um, you know, as opposed to what you see on TV lately with all of the fights and scuffles, uh, we do self-help repo, which means we can't breach the peace. You can't argue with anybody. So it's become a mental game. How do you figure out how to do it without uh, getting them or the, the owner involved to stop you. So, if you've financed a wide body, stay up on that note, or you're likely to get a visit from Nick and never even know he was there. Paul Harrop, AOPA Live. Thanks, Paul. You can read more about Nick Popovich in the February issue of AOPA Pilot Magazine.